Greetings, world. We are anonymous. To military employees and contractors who may have bought child pornography online but haven't been prosecuted or even in some cases investigated. That's right, you heard me, child pornography. As many as 1,700 names, according to a U.S. Senator, on a list of 5,200 from an Internet sting operation overlooked the first time around four years ago. Only now are they supposedly getting a second look, and only after pressure from investigative reporters and the U.S. Senator you're about to hear from, Republican Charles Grassley. The Pentagon porn story began in 2006. An immigration and customs enforcement child pornography sting operation called Project Flickr produced payment records of about 5,200 people, many of whom provided Army or fleet zip codes or military email addresses. Subsequently, the Pentagon's investigative branch, DCIS, began going through the ICE list to identify who actually was a DOD employee or a contractor. The investigation, however, only ran for eight months and only cross-checked some 3,500 names for Pentagon ties, according to a senator. According to DCIS documents revealed in a Freedom of Information Act request, out of that 3,500, investigators uncovered 264 employees or contractors, including staffers for the Secretary of Defense and contractors at the NSA. Nine people had top security clearances. But only about 20 percent of those 264 people were completely investigated. Fewer still were prosecuted, and about eight months, after about eight months, the entire probe was halted. It left about 1,700 names totally unchecked, 1,700 alleged kiddie porn customers, an unknown number of whom may still work in some capacity for the Defense Department. Late last summer, after investigations by the Boston Globe and Yahoo News revealed the figures, a Pentagon spokesman promised to reopen the investigation, conceding that DCIS had stopped due to lack of resources. DCIS says it is now revisiting all 5,200 names, telling Senator Grassley's staff they've now identified 302 employees or staffers. The Pentagon's IG telling us, and I quote, any suggestion that the DOD Office of Inspector General or its criminal investigative arm, the DCIS, is not taking Operation Flickr and the issue of child pornography seriously is in error. But Senator Grassley says he is still not getting the cooperation he needs from this Pentagon. I spoke to him earlier. Senator Grassley, you were told that 5,200 Defense Department employees had allegedly purchased child porn, and yet you're saying only 3,500 of those names were cross-checked by defense investigators to see if they were really DOD personnel. That's mind-boggling. Why weren't all of them cross-checked? Well, we don't have an answer to that question, but it's quite obvious that the other 1,700 should have been cross-checked, and that's one of the answers to my questions that I want answered, and uh, the implication of our questions is they ought to be cross-checked. Uh, we ought to find out because we're talking about not just general pornography here. We're talking about child pornography, and child uh, pornography, taking that down, is a crime. Uh, and also, it's a, it, there's an added factor here, considering the fact that there's a lot of uh, secured information, the national security information, that the world shouldn't know, that a lot of times uh, foreign operatives will use uh, this sort of criminal activity uh, to blackmail to get information. So there's a lot of things here that are involved uh, because it's a Defense Department issue as opposed to any other department of government. Right. I mean, sir, I mean if your numbers are correct, 1,700 people out there who allegedly purchased child porn, we don't know if they were ever cross-checked or investigated, right? That's true, and there's been some other names in the, in the hundreds where there's, uh, the, the names have actually been given out that we don't know what's going to be done about them. Now, there's some reason to believe that the, it's a criminal act. The case, it's been so far since it's happened that they could be stale. Maybe you can't have criminal prosecution, but we would be looking at administrative action to be taken against these people. And I want to know who they are and what administrative action's being taken. Yeah, because I mean, what's even more startling is that of the 302 people confirmed as DOD personnel or contractors, only 70 of them were actually investigated. I mean, how is it possible that, that all of them yeah. weren't investigated? 
Well, here's, uh, I think, the, the thing that overrides everything you just asked, and that is we ask uh, uh, criminal investigators uh, in the uh, division of defense that does that uh, the extent to which supervisors of these people knew that this was going, and the, uh, uh, and the criminal investigators couldn't even answer that question for us when we had a briefing from them. So wait a minute, so you're saying we don't even know if the supervisors of these people were told that their, their you know, employees may have downloaded child porn? That's the question that my staff ask of the criminal investigators, and uh, they could not answer the question whether or not supervisors had been informed of this. And if